You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's young Daisy Dozen and her beau Donald down at the drugstore getting a soda. Donald's saying, Gosh, Dreamcake, I wish I were as smart as you. Oh, Donald, you are. Aren't you? Well, gee, Daisy, you can talk on any subject, like movies, algebra, and even does. Well, Donald, when a girl's going to get married someday, she ought to know all about does. Why, it's a new soap discovery, and it does everything in the wash. Gee, I do everything for you, Dreamcake. Mm. You know, Ma says does does past work shirts and Dickie's overalls and towels and my pretty rayon school blouses, simply everything. Isn't that wonderful? You're a wonderful pigeon. Thanks, Donald. Just think, someday you'll be wearing work shirts. Then you'll want to wipe her nose does get some clean easy. I mean, she won't have to do any hard scrubbing. Or like Ma says, even bother with the bar soap anymore. Because does gets the dirtiest clothes clean all by itself. Hey, remember, it's me, not does, that's buying the sodas. Well, I was only thinking of our future. Ma says every good housekeeper should know how white does does towels and linens. No soap gets them whiter than does. It's really famous for whiteness. Gee, it's snazzy, sipping sodas and listening to you talk. You're sweet, Donald. You know, Ma says if a girl's going to be a good wife, she ought to know how to keep her rayon dresses looking bright with does. Ma says it's safer for the pretty colors she washes. Dream cake, you look so pretty. Let's you and me and does always sip our sodas together. Oh, Donald. Oh, brother. Does sure does everything. In the wash, I mean. Why, friends, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, Does gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. Try Does, D-U-Z. It does everything in your wash. And now the Goldbergs. Well, Molly Goldberg is really beginning to lose her head now. Her lack of judgment in giving Grace a chance to reform has forced Molly into one subterfuge after another. But the last one was the worst and most serious. For Grace has made a getaway with some community money entrusted to her. You see, no one in town knows that Grace isn't Molly's daughter-in-law. No one in town knows that Grace has skipped or that her husband George is with her. Now Molly and her family will have to make good the money and tell the whole story. It's not a pleasant prospect to face. And to make it worse... The county district attorney heard of the Lassenbury Delinquent Committee and came over and personally gave a $500 contribution on behalf of the county. Well, Molly was so dumbfounded she took the money, although she knew that she was doing so under false pretenses. And now, listen. Why did you do it? Five, 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 David, all I want you to do is to explain to this woman that she committed a felony. Molly, you committed a felony. Where are you going, Jake? I can't stand on my feet anymore. And if I don't lie down, I'll fall off my feet. Molly, Molly. If everybody would only sit down gently and quietly with me. It's too serious, it's Ma. It's too serious now, Molly. Who knows better than me how serious? A uh, felony, Molly. Pop, how did you do with the $500 check that the county district attorney gave you? I got it. Well, then call him up and give it back. I will, I will. I'm also going to go over to him and speak personally well, to him. what will that do? Because honesty is my policy. Then why did you talk the check? Why? Huh? Why? Because they. Molly. Yes, Jake. My head is coming off. I'm coming, Mama I'm darling. Coming. My head is not coming off, David. You think even if I tell everybody, if I tell them, will it still be a felony? Well, first I have to know what's a felony. I, I don't know. Think. It's a felony. That's all. What is a felony, Uncle David? I, I don't know. It, it, it's the law, Rosalie. And when Mama took from the county district attorney a check for $500 under false pretenses, that's what Papa said was a felony. But Mama's going to give it back. It, it, it all happened so fast. Sure, that... sure she'll give it back. But, but Rosalie, the felony, she felonized already. And that she can't give back. Well, what should Mama do, Uncle David? Chop some ice, Rosalie, from the refrigerator. What, Ma? Chop some ice from what, the fridge. Ma? Oh, all right, Ma. All right, Ma. I will. What will? I'll chop some ice. That's what I said. All right. 
All right, I'll help you. I can do it, Uncle David. Yeah? All right. Is a felony serious? I didn't know. I didn't know. Law, I don't know. Medicine, I understand, because my son, Sally, the doctor, is a doctor. But law? First, my son, Sally, wanted to study law, but, but I said not, and not at all. But my, my cousin's boy, her middle boy, is a lawyer. A lawyer. Not uh, a lawyer. A lawyer. No, not like my son, Sally. He's a doctor, you see. Let me help you, Rosalind. Sure. Father? Uh, Mama, darling, I know what I was thinking. So there's the Just item. Just Ma. We're all in serious trouble, and, and something has to be done about it. A felony, Molly, a felony. What is it? I don't know, but Molly, a, a oh, felony. Well, first, let me see to Papa, dear. His head is coming off. Give me the ice. Papa is first. Molly. David, please, all right, let me see. Enumerize for me. All right, I'll enumerize. From the beginning. The very beginning, you should have known that Sandy would never get married without asking you first. All right, so that was number one, so I didn't know, so I didn't know, so I didn't know. So that was my first terror of my judgment, and number two. Mama, darling, what's the use of going all through that again? I want to hear. Well, I, I want to hear. Let me hear. Well, just as soon as you knew that Grace and George were married, that was the time that you should have told Grace that you knew what she sure, was. Yes, so Molly, as you knew. You, you mm, all right, so, so, so that was the second mistake and Freud and Numerous. You gave them all the chances that you could to be better, I thought. Well, that's where you were wrong. That's where I was wrong. And George, you think... If you wanted to do any reforming, Ma, you should have done it at our expense and not at the expense sure. of all the people of Lessonbury. Not at the expense of the people in Lessonbury. And that was the felony? Sure, maybe, maybe it's, a, it's a double felony. So look in the dictionary. Look in the dictionary. And then I'll be down in a minute. I'll see what's a felony. I'll get the dictionary, Let Uncle David. Dictionary. Let me better call my cousin's middle boy. A lawyer he is. Good or bad, bad or good. He, he's hanging with a diploma, so, so maybe he'll know. Gee, do you know where to call him? Information. I'll ask information. You, you want me to get it, Uncle David? Yes, please. Well, please. What's his name and, and where's his office? Wait, I'll look in my notice book. I'll look. And the minute Grace walked into this house, I knew that there was something wrong. Rosalie, water that went under the bridge is water under already. And milk that is, is spilt is not to be wept for. It's over. It's not over. That's the trouble. Well, it Mr. only was over. Mr. Kimbrough. Do, do you think that anybody in town is going to believe that Mr. Mama kept Grace here after she knew what she was? And, and George, Kimbrough. he was just as bad. Oh, here, here. Maximilian Mazelstone. Ma Max Mazelstone. Uh, and where is his office? In New York? No, not New York, Rosie. See, here. Oh, that's Jersey. Yeah, something. All right. Hello? I, I want information, please. Who saw the bicarbonate? David, did you saw the bicarbonate? Who are you calling, Rosalie? Information. Who? Shut Hello? Uh, information? Uh, I, I want to get Maximilian Mazelstone. Maximilian Mazelstone? Mazelstone. In, in Passaic. Maximilian Mazelstone? Your cousin's boy, David, with the double glasses? The one who was a colic baby? Yeah. Well, uh, will you please call me back? His law office. A person yes. to person, personality. O only the personality I want. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Why are you calling Max? Molly, what's a felony, huh? Well, Did uh, you do a felony? Well, well I... when, when you have a toothache, you, you, you go to, to a doctor, to a dentist, no? And then when you have a felony, so, so where do you go, Molly? To a lawyer, of course. Molly! I'm coming, Jay. Here's the bicarbonate, Ma. And Ma, call everybody together and tell them what happened. Molly! I'm coming, dear. I'm coming. I'm coming. David, you, you think, uh, you think Maximilian Mottlestone will know what a felony is? What do you mean? His father is living deep in the ground today because he worked so hard to make his, his Maximilian a lawyer. And he, he, he shouldn't know about a felony. Very nice, very nice appreciation for his father's memory. He, he shouldn't know about a felony. Oh, so you'll ask him, Dave. Get the definition. Rosalie, take a pencil, spell it. Whatever is a felony, spell it. Yes. Put it on paper. Rosalie, the whole definition. All right. Let me, Rosalie. Let me. Hello? 
Maximilian. Oh, Mr. Muzzlestone. His second cousin. Yes, I'll hold. Is he in, Uncle David? Jake wants to talk if Max is on the phone. Uh, hello. His second cousin. Birdie? Hello. Oh, Birdie. Hello, Maximilian. David, tell him you'll call him back later. Come in, Birdie. You'll Hello. call him back later. Hello. Hello, Max. Um, I, I'm holding. Just say that Molly took money on the folks' pretenses. Jake! Hello. That Grace wasn't her daughter-in-law. Hello. Grace wasn't whose daughter-in-law? I'll, I'll call back later. Grace wasn't Mrs. Goldberg's daughter-in-law. Later, Maximilian. She, she was going to have a baby, wasn't she? Mm, Mr. Goldberg has such a headache. He's delirious. I'm, I'm delirious myself. I, I can't believe it. Hello. Hello, Max. I only want to know what's a felony. Th that's not a felony. That's moral typitude. Birdie's eyes are wide open. And her mouth is open even wider. Yes, the town megaphone and general gossip spreader was hardly the person to hear what Jake had to say. Now it looks as if the town will boil over, unless Molly does something drastic. You know, it's the simple and sincere things we do that count most. And that's how it is with Ma and Pa Dozum. Ma Dozum says... When Pa holds my hands and says they're still soft and pretty, Ah, <laughs> uh, means a lot to me. That's why I always use does for dishes. I take such good care of my hands. And Ma Dozum's right. This new kind of soap does everything in the wash and has everything for dishes. It does is kinder to hands than any other leading granulated wash day soap. Yet it makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done and cuts grease like 60. Think of it. You get suds that really last. No need to keep adding soap. Speed for cutting grease without hard scouring, yet amazing kindness to hands. That's does with everything for dishes. And say, are you dozing dishes the victory way, that is, not wasting soap? All soaps contain important war materials. Save does by scraping dishes thoroughly before washing. See to it every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Molly gets a solemn promise from Bertie, but she gets it only from Bertie's tongue, not her mind. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.